Here we are at the 33rd day of Svira. We started counting the second day, from the second day of Pesach. One, two, three, four, and now we're up to 33. We have another few weeks left to count to 49 to Shavuos. Right here in the middle, the 33rd day that we're counting, called Lag Ba'imer, means Lamad Gimel. Variation Lamad 33 in the counting of the Omer which has absolutely nothing, well, has very little to do, like Boimu, which is a happy day, we consider, with the uh, counting of the Omer itself. Uh, we have uh, a uh, tradition of keeping a mourning period between Pesach and Lag Boimu, some people beyond Lag Boimu. And uh, that has nothing to do with the counting of the Omer itself. What happened during that period the great Rabbi Akiva, who had many students, and the, oh, thousands of them, of them died during the period between Pesach and Lag Ba'imer. And according to some authorities, they stopped dying on Lag Ba'imer. And that's why it's a happy day on the Jewish calendar since the uh, plague that we're dying from stopped. From here, we have to take a very important lesson. Why did these great people, great students, great disciples of Rabbi Kiva, why did they die during that period? We're told by a rabbis because they did not have the proper respect for one another. They uh, were great people and they studied Torah diligently, but they were so great that God expected them to have a very, very strong, sensitive uh, feeling and uh, respect for one another, more than regular, since they were not regular people. And according to their greatness and according to the, the level that they reached, God felt that they didn't have the proper respect for one another, and therefore he decreed upon them that they should not live any longer. So this is something we have to learn a, a very strong lesson from, that we have to realize the greatness of every Jewish person and treat him with the greatest respect to realize no matter who he is the most simple person but he's God's creation if God, God felt he's worthwhile creating he must be somebody very special we have to look at him as God's creation we have to look at him and look at the shabbat that he has God gave a soul, not only his body that we see in front of our eyes but a holy soul which will live forever which will be close to Hashem he has in his well connected to his body that means he's a very, very special person. He's called Bonim Atem Shalakechem. The Jewish people are called God's children. He's one of God's children. So we have to look at every Jewish person as a very, very outstanding, special, important person and, and give the proper respect to every person around us that we meet to realize the greatness, to say the right good morning to them with the right kind of uh, uh, feeling, say good Shabbos with a smile, uh, try to help people when they need help, not to gossip about them, say, even behind their back, if they're so important, so great, how can we talk against them? How can we say gossip against them? When the person is bizarre, when the person is, has pain, we're told God is, has pain for him also. Imagine that, how important every Jewish person is, that little me, little him, little us, we're so big that God feels that he has to have, we don't know what that means exactly, but whatever it means, it means something God feels pain when we feel pain. That's why we have to look at every individual and perhaps treat him with a proper respect. This is a great lesson that we learned from Lag Baimer. And we want to be able to live with a happy life and God should be happy with us. Let's make sure that we give the proper respect to our friends, to our families, to our fellow Jew. We find even the great rabbis, when they walked in the street, even met, met an Anjou. They made sure to say good morning before anybody else could say good morning to them because this is a creation of God. God created the truth and the non-Jews. He also has his, his place in life. So we have to be friendly to them also. The bottom line, let's make sure we give the proper respect to every individual. And this is something that God will be very happy with. We should have a very happy like Boimer and a good preparation for the great Shavuos holiday coming up.